Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. So, this is not my typical video, this is not my regular video. Just decided to do something advanced, something extreme to teach you guys another level of manipulation, another level of photo manipulation. And I actually came about this picture. I was just, I actually took this picture earlier this year, I think January, if I'm not mistaken. So I just have it in my collection. I already did one of it then. So I was just going through my collections today and I actually saw this. And I decided to do actually walk you through the process of how I do this editing. I want to create something special. So this picture frame I actually seen here. I'll show you how I actually created it. I brought it in. And how I extracted how I extracted it from a picture. So with no further ado, let's jump into action. So this right there. This is just from out this is where our sample picture is so here's what our picture look like do i've done extension i've done my basic retouching to the picture i'm not doing a high end retouching here so and also i've actually removed my subject from, subject from the background as you can see i removed my subject from the background and also on the other layer here also i've actually smoothing my backdrop to this point so what i just be doing right now is to bring in the files we'll be using so it's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm going to walk you through the process. Not every time your picture has to look boring. Not every time you just feel something, you just feel like you can't do it. You just have to go explain my, just be creative when it comes to manipulation. And pick a thing or two, add them together, it's going to create something for you. You might not get it right the first time, but just keep trying. One of these times, you're going to get it perfectly right. So go, go to my file manager first. So this is uh, some of the pictures I generated using Adobe Firefly. Yeah, I use Adobe Firefly to generate these pictures, and they are looking as you can see. I'm using Adobe Firefly to generate it. So all these pictures and some other more are actually generated using Adobe Firefly. So, but the issue I'm having right there is that I only need the frame and the clothes in the picture. So these are what I need in the picture. I don't need everything entirely. So well, that's not an issue right now because that's why we have Photoshop and that is why you guys have me. I just need to do is to drag it down to my Photoshop, drag it down to my Photoshop, and I'm going to expand it to the way I want it to be fitting, the way I want it to be. So let me say I want it to be around this way. It needs to be around this way. Okay, I think around this way is okay. Around this way is okay. What I used to do is to click on my OK. So wait for it to load up. So you can turn off your subject video to actually do what you want to do so that it won't be distracting you. What I just need to do right now is to pick my polygonal axis like too or my quick selection too. Let's go to the quick selection because that will be very very easy to remove this remove this frame and the outfit from the background. So what I just need to do right now is to make sure I'm on my addition. I'm going to increase the size by clicking on bracket close. So I'm going to scroll over the area I want to actually select. As you can see. So you're going to do a nice job more, but not that perfect. As you can see. So it's actually selected this area for me, so I'm going to pick my polygonal axis tool and select the other area also. As you can see right now, I'm going to pick it up and select this other area myself. So take your time and do it perfectly. I'll be dropping this picture also for you guys to practice with. And all these files will be available in my Telegram. Just do and join my Telegram today. This file are on my Telegram where you can download and actually practice with. And lots of files. So here also again. I'm going to do the same thing here, but this time around, I'm using polygon. Now, don't forget to use an addition as our selection right now. As you can see right now. So, I'm going to add to the selection. As you can see. So, let me say I'm done with selection right now. What I just need to do right now is to click on my Ctrl G. So, we extracted that picture frame right now. So, this one with the full picture, we can just delete this right now. So, let's turn back our subject here right now, as you can see. But it's not looking all that nice, it's not looking all that nice because it looks as if she's actually standing on the frame, which is not nice. And this, we already have a straight line over here, which is what I don't actually like over here. So, how about to do some blending? Let's blend it and see what it's actually going to give to us. So, what I just need to do right now, first thing first, I'm going to select my subject layer. I'm going to create a max on this, our new layer. Let's just name it our PNG layer. Let's name it PNG. Then I'm going to create a max on it. Once I do that, I hold my control key down, I click on my max 
going to click on my uh, PNG, which I just created right now. Then I'm going to go to my subject marks. I'll pick my brush, my normal brush, and make sure the color is on black. Then I'm going to scroll over this area so that it seems as if this area is at the back. The leg is at the back of the frame. This leg and this one is actually leaning forward outside the frame. So contradict the select as you can see right now, which is very, very nice. So we're going to do that same thing to this outfit also again. But this time around, we are going to be working with the subject layer also again. So let's take a click on our select again. Hold our control key down and click also click on this our PNG again. So pick your brush, pick your normal brush, make sure the color is still on black, make sure it's on black, then increase the brush, then clean it up, clean it up. I see if the fabric is coming from the back. So control D to select. So it is seem one is actually going through the back while the other one is coming through the front. So looking very, very artistic. So now this time around, let's go to our PNG layer over here, the max. So zoom in very well, zoom in very well. Then clean up this area a little bit. Don't forget your brush color is still on black. So just clean it up. Let's clean this up. Let's clean it up. Giving us something nice. So let's clean this area up like this. So it's going to blend them perfectly with the floor, which I'm actually loving right now. So that being said right now, look at how hyper-realistic our frame look right now. Look as if the frame is actually there. But the issue I'm facing right now is the shadow there is not very, very real. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an empty layer directly below my frame layer right now. So I'll click on the background layer, I'll click on background copy too, because it's directly below my PNG layer, which is my frame layer. And I'm going to create an empty layer on it. Then I'm going to pick my polygonal axis like too. And I'm going to carve a little bit of shadows there, as you can see. I'll carve the shadow, just tiny little bit of shadow, just to make it look as if there's a shadow there. So just to make it hyper realistic, as you can see. Take your time in doing it. You going to cast a little bit of shadow inside the picture frame. So I'll make it up where I started from. What I just need to do right now is right click on it, then go to feather. When you feather it by 30 pixel, click on OK. Once I'm done with that, I'll just right click, go to fill, and I'm going to click on colors, click on colors, make sure I'm filling 100% black, click on OK, and I'm going to click on OK, and boom, Control D to the select, look at, now we already have shadows in our picture, in our frame, and if shadow is too much, just bring down the opacity a little bit, and we have something nice. So that being said right now, our picture is looking more artistic in nature, which is what I actually like. So I'm actually doing, I'm going off script a little bit because this is supposed to be at the front, why this at the back. But it's still time, I'm just trying to tell the same story right now. So that being said right now, the next thing we are going to do is to actually add a little bit of texture to our background right now. So for we to do that, let's go back to our file manager again. This time around, I'll go to where my backgrounds are. Just go to where my backgrounds are. And don't forget, backgrounds like this are available for sale in my store. You can just go to my store and purchase them there, including my color grading lot. Etc. Etc. Let's go and actually make purchase today and improve your picture editing skills. Take it to the next level, and they're very very easy to use. You just have to go change them to soft lights. Then you're good to go. So let's see where's my camera backdrop. Let's just look for the camera backdrop and actually bring it down to full to shape. So this is the camera backdrop I love using the most. I just have to drag it down to my Photoshop. So I'm going to increase the size. I'll increase the size till I see if it's I think around this way is okay. I just have to click on my OK on the keyboard. So once it loads up, I'll just change the blend mode from normal or doing that to soft light. And boom, we already have something nice. So I can start to leave the color this way or I can desaturate the color, Ctrl U. And I'm going to bring down the saturation and click on OK, which is very, very nice. But the texture is too much for my liking, so I just have to blow it out a little bit. I just have to go to my filter. Now filter, I'll go to blood, I'm going to click on Gaussian blood. So under the radius, I can use anything from 8 to 10 pixel. And I'll click on my OK. That being said right now, my picture is, my picture is already looking artistic in, in nature, which I actually love. Well, let's make it more artistic by bringing in the flower petals at the top of our picture. So go back to our file manager, let's go to where my petals are. My flower branches are, let's see, let's see. So we are going to drag down into Photoshop, drag that down into Photoshop. So let's use this for example. So just drag it down to my Photoshop. Wait for it to load up. Let's wait for it to load up. So once it does, 
what I just need to do is just to expand it from the edges so that it's going to fill the entire document and look very very nice so you can use these or you can use any one you have in your collection this file is from my telegram group you can just go and download them free of charge you don't have to pay a dime for it just go to my telegram today and actually get yours there that being said we are already done with our manipulation you can just proceed to color grading like this but for me i love doing some extreme things also again so what i'll be adding right now to the picture i'm going to make it look a little bit more artistic than it is so i'm going to add a little bit of smoke to the floor to actually make it okay or i can just add a gradient map to cover up the floor a little bit so i'll just click for my uppermost layer so which is my subject layer so once i'm done with that i'll just go to my create an empty layer on it then i'm going to sample the color i actually want to fill the area up i think around this color is okay i'll click on okay once i'm done with that right now i just have to pick my gradients then I'm going to open up my gradient here, open it up, and pick the gradient I want to actually use. Click on OK. So I'm just going to scroll from down to the top, as you can see, just to cover up the leg a little bit. So once I'm done, probably it's too much, I just bring down the opacity a little bit. And boom, we're done. So now is the final procedure. Many of you think uh, my lots or lots are actually overrated, but trust me, they are not. There are easy ways to actually color grade your picture with that. I'm going to stress the save out. Uh, I use them in color grading most of my job, and they are very, very easy to use and straightforward at the same time. So, if you're interested in getting of my lots, they are going to possess my store, and they're going to help. When it comes to manipulation, they're going to help you a lot, a great deal when it comes to manipulation. So, what I just need to do right now is to go to my adjustment layer. I'll click on my color lookup. Click on those 3D lots and I'm going to click on Mela Chocolate. You guys know I love using these emotes when it comes to dark skin and actually want to dark my image. Then I'm going to click on Mela Chocolate and boom. Look at what it actually gives to us. This is hyper realist. This is great, which I actually love. So I'm going to bring down the opacity a little bit to dark my liking. And boom. We actually create something similar to this. The only difference there is that this is actually supposed to be at the front, why it is supposed to be at the back. But it's the same thing, we are still telling the same story. So, and I think that is all for today's tutorial, guys. If you find this video interesting, if you find it educating, please drop a like and actually share with your friends. Someone out there might be in need of this video. And also, follow me on TikTok, I'll be dropping more content like this on my TikTok and also some of the BTS I actually, on how I usually do my shit. So that's all about this video guys, reflect out. So in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file, from my overlays down to my color lookup, which is my lot file. So you just have to scroll down to your video. So under the comment, this is my description. So it's not going to load the description for you, you just have to click on show more, click on it. So it's going to show all the options. Once it does that, just click on my store link. So here's my store link. Once you click on it, it's going to take you directly to my store. So you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup. This is a light skin lot. This is a feather which I use in my recent video. This is under premium baby overlays. This is my fourth video course. This video course entails on how to download all the files I want. The site I use in downloading all my files free of charge, including my Photoshop panels also. This includes my PNG files. This includes all my packs. All my picture editing files, my premium overlay, my PNG, my flying fabrics, my color lookup, my preset. So once you buy this, you've already bought everything apart from this one. So here is my flying fabrics. Here is my, in case you want to give me any project for me to work on. Here is my color lookup. Here is my background overlay. And here is my preset file. So in case you're interested in buying anyone, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice. You can buy with any currency of your choice. 